if you use user form then i believe you have faced this situation many times so let me show you what i'm saying let's suppose i have a calendar like this so you can see i have seven command button here and six rows that is 42 command button okay and now you can say that okay if i just click in any button that is basically saying that okay this is that particular day right so 11 so that is 12 11 2023 so if i choose 16 then 16 12 2023 that is 16 december so basically the idea is that you have lots of button or text boxes and you have the same kind of validation that if i click on any button then pick whatever we have in that particular button caption and consider that as a day right so that is 16 december that is 20 december right so that kind of validation that you have a group of text boxes or buttons or combo boxes and you have similar kind of validation for each of these text boxes and now let's suppose if i want to see okay all of this is relevant for the click event so i can say okay click event for button one button two button three and so on and that's where this video comes in that you don't need to do that because you have 42 button and if you insert 42 click events the code will be monster and you just need the same kind of code okay you don't need to duplicate this and in this video i'm going to show you how you can do this using class module and a single class module actually instead of multiple class module and multiple click event with only one click event and a single class module so i will encourage you to watch my this video watch this video i have made that excel vva create custom events in object oriented programming and especially the with events keyword that will be useful for this particular video so i'm not going to show you the code implementation i mean i'm not going to implement from scratch i'm just going to explain this code so that the video size will be smaller but if you have any question feel free to comment in my video and i'll try to answer that question so this is my design view okay and we have all of these buttons right like this and if you look at this if i press f4 then common button one two three four five so on so it's better to keep that name in the same way like you know one two three four so that we can look through all the controls of this particular user form and then set this particular common button to link with this particular class module so what i'm going to explain is that i have this j button handle and if you look at this that that is the underscore click event let me show you one more thing that if i just double click on this then you can see common button one underscore click now i can insert 42 common button click event and then i can do the same validation in all of those 42 common button if you still create a specific shop to handle that particular procedure for all of those common button you will still need to call that particular shop for 42 times right and that is not a clean way to do this okay so instead of that what we are doing is that we have a class module and we are using with events keyword and if you want to learn more about this with events i will encourage you again to watch this video and it will be really really useful for you so we are using that private with events given day as ms forms dot command button so what this will do this will give me access to the events for that particular common button whenever i am saying with events so let me show you if i just select this given day then you can see that it's going into this particular section underscore click and if i check this then i will have other event as well now if i just get rid of this okay and now if i say okay i cannot find that given day anymore right cannot find that but uh, and this will not be called whenever you click any button on that particular user form because we are not using with events so that's why this main part of this particular section that it's linked to this buttons with this class module is using this keyword with events okay and whenever we use with events then we can have the option like this and then we can handle any event we want okay now what this is doing that given day underscore click it's basically saying that given day dot parent that is basically the parent of this command button so as this is in the user form not in a frame then parent will be user form but if it was inside of a frame uh, then frame would be the parent of that particular command button so for this one this user form is the parent okay and then we can access the dot controls so that basically we are saying that 
from this user form find this control that selected dead viewer that is basically this section okay that is selected dead viewer and then we are saying that dot caption so basically saying that okay put this, this label on that particular control okay and then we are saying that given day dot caption so basically whenever you will click on you know let's say 16 december then it will this given day dot caption will say 16 and then comma and then month viewer so that basically is this one this month viewer and then we have the year viewer so year viewer dot value and then we are just formatting that in this specific format dd dash mm dash y y y y and then we are done right so whenever we click on any button then it does this particular thing now the main point is that what's the link between this common button from this user form to this particular class and when we make that linking or when we create that link and that is basically inside of this user form so if we go into this user form code then you will see user form underscore initialize and at the end you can see the add day buttons and basically i'm just going to show you this part so i'm just saying okay this dot day buttons is a new collection so basically we will create a 42 instance of this particular class module and we are going to store that in a collection and that collection is declared on this particular section the day buttons as a collection right now i'm going to do this method then we are just saying okay deem i as a byte because i know that this is going to go up to 42 so we can handle that in byte for memory efficiency but you can use long as well okay temp as a day button handle so that is basically this class module and you can see that 1 to 42 that's why i said that this button names is important because we are just going to access that using common button 1 common button 2 and so on so that's why the naming is important here so 1 to 42 and then we are just saying okay get me the controls that is named common button and i that is 1 2 3 so 1 and it will go up to 42 so we get that control and we set that controls to this particular class set given day buttons right so you can see that with events given day and we have a property set set given day and we're just linking that using the with event keywords and we are setting that particular count button in that particular class and whenever we add that in the collection so whenever we click any button this code will be executed so let me show you again so click on this and if i click on this then you can see it goes into this particular section that's how we are linking or we are handling a group of events or validation for a group of text boxes or common button or any kind of actually control so you can handle in this way using the with events keyword and you can handle a group of similar validation for a group of object or controls okay so that's it for this video let me know if you have any question and if you like my content consider subscribing and sharing have a good day